Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly messages for April 1st through April 8th. This is for the sign of Cancer. Ooh, power. This is a strength card. Alright, so this is power, this is confidence, courage, strength, mastering of emotions. Using the force within you to prevail. Opening up. Using your strength to open up to something new. This is the Empress, which is growth, rebirth, renewal. It's also soul searching. I am... I am strong. I am strong. I do love myself. This is self-love as well. Wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups. Self-love. Self-love. That's the that is self-love. Set when you love yourself wholeheartedly, that's when true love comes. And wish fulfillment. Look at the lineup. Oh my God. Wow. That is beautiful. I can't even get over it. Look at the love. The love is everywhere in this reading. There could be a reconciliation or there could be some new love. But anyway, let me get this souped in. All right. So Cancer, there is a new beginning in love here. Whether it's a reconciliation with somebody that you are already with or it's a new love. Okay. It feels as though many of you have gone through some sort of renewal or rebirth. And you may have regained some of your power, some of your strength. And now wishes could be, be, be um, your wish fulfillment could be on the horizon, okay? They're, they're, it feels like things are starting to get back on track. That somebody is taking the lead to um, bring stability and security back to their lives. Okay, you may, if you guys, some of you may be just really opening up to finding this new love. That could be the case because here we have growth. Okay, so I feel like somebody is saying, I am ready to find new love. Some of you are actually having a reconciliation with someone, you know, that you're already with. There could have been some kind of argument or whatever, and there's a reconciliation. For some of you, there's a new beginning here with somebody completely new because this is the death card. This is uh, an ending that leads to something new, okay? I feel as though there is a lot of... Somebody has done some soul searching and they have, uh, through this period of soul searching, they've grown, okay? They've grown into somebody new. And now, during this period of soul searching, they have regained their strength. They have regained their power. They have regained their oneness, okay? And through this um, transformation, this is what has happened. Somebody has went through some sort of transformation that involves self-love and acknowledging who they are. Because this is I am and this is self-love. I am self-love. You know, because they have acknowledged who they really are and where they want to go, now their soulmate is coming in. Or there's a reconciliation with a soulmate. There is some sort of romance and affection and love here, okay, for you, Cancer. And it does fulfill your wishes, okay? I feel like things are starting to really, really come together for you. And it's because... You guys have done the inner work to let yourself grow to fulfill your wishes. You guys have accepted changes as they come. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like there is definitely a new opportunity in love here. And I think it's after something ended. 
okay so for many of you it's just the realization that I am ready I have grown I know where I'm going I'm opening up to love I'm now I'm opening up to new love for some of you so you're opening up and as you open up open up it's gonna come in it is going to come it may not be this week because this is the week where you're actually like getting out there and looking for it for some of you that are already in a relationship but you have pro have had some problems there is certainly a reconciliation for you okay because things are starting to stabilize for those of you that are have been out of a commitment for a while you know you've been alone there is a new beginning here okay the worst is over and you guys are about to step onto a new journey onto a new path okay looks really really good it does I feel like th this is a week of wish fulfillment either way you look at it okay this is the nine of cups and this is in regards to love if you haven't found somebody yet it is around the corner if you are with somebody now there is a reconciliation here okay there's an offer of love or there is you know there's a lot of um, He's some crow. Uh, what's the word for it? There's a beautiful union here. Put it that way. There's a union between two people. If you're together, that is, there's like a bond that is unbreakable. So if you're with somebody right now, there, there's a soulmate connection. And for those of you that are single, there is a soulmate connection coming in. This is a soulmate connection. So whether you're with this person now or they haven't come in yet, they're coming. They're coming. Okay, this may be the week where you're just really open to it. You're like, I am ready. I am ready. And you know, when you are ready and you've done the self work and you love yourself fully, your attractiveness and your high vibration, it's like the pheromones. You, you look up pheromones. You, you project those out and you draw in your partner. So this is what's happening here. Many of you are calling in your soulmate right now without even knowing it. You are because you're ready. You're ready. You're open to it. You've done your work. You've done the healing. You've went through this rebirth. You went through this renewal and you have this uh, high amount of self-love. And like I said earlier, self-love leads to wish fulfillment. It really does. So whoever this is for, for every single cancer that's watching this, wish fulfillment is here. It is. It's coming. It's coming. Because you love yourself. Now, if you are a cancer that doesn't love yourself right now, you still have, you have to go through this period of soul searching first before this love comes in. This is the step before this. Self-love. Self-love. You know, unconditional love for yourself. You have to allow yourself to grow from past hurts and look at them in a positive light you have to learn from the wisdom you have to take the wisdom you gained from suffering and use it in a positive way not a negative way okay if you are if you are crying you know if you were to think of this card reverse this is somebody that is a pity party if 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 you are um you know pity me, poor, poor me, then you haven't gotten here yet and this isn't coming yet. So I'm just saying, this is all upright because I made them all upright. This is this is what the, these readings are about this week. is about what's coming in if you have done the work that you need to do. And for many of you, you are there. You are there. I see a transformation on the horizon for the majority of you watching this. And it is a beautiful new path. Okay, you guys are going down a new road. Strength. This is the strength card as well. Strength comes from many sources. It's the first card that came out. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone, as we're always with you. Your strength has been restored, and because your strength has been restored, there is a beautiful union, either here for you now or right around the corner. So Cancer, this is a beautiful reading. I feel like you guys have done the inner work 
to bring stability and structure back to your life, back to your soul. You've done the soul searching work that you needed. You've allowed yourself to grow through pain in a positive way. And because you have done that, the universe is offering you some, some new love, okay? Or reconciliation. All right, so that's what I have. Talk to you later.